welcome back to my channel, Life of a Scott. If you just got done making Christmas dinner, maybe Thanksgiving dinner, and you prepared a whole turkey, you might have the carcass of that turkey ready to throw it away. Don't throw it away. You definitely want to boil all those bones with a little excess meat on there and create an amazing broth or soup base for a later meal. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. So first and foremost, I go ahead and grab one of my stainless steel pans that's a decent size because I want to put the whole carcass right inside. I filled it about halfway full with just water and then I have my carcass right here that's still in the oven bag. So I'm going to unwrap it, take the carcass out, bones and all, and I'm going to put it right in that boiling water. Alright, so what we're going to start with is our oven bag. So I prepared our turkey this year in an oven bag. That seems to be the best and easiest way for me to go about doing that. So let me go ahead and show this to you. So this is my turkey. I'm going to take everything out and put it right in the water. In, the meat, all of that stuff. It's just a bunch of goop. And you want to make sure you remove that plastic piece. Okay, so this was half full of water and I'm going to let this boil for at least an hour and I'm just going to keep checking up on it. All of what's going to happen eventually is all of that meat that is still on the bones is going to loosen up off the bones and fall right off and all I'm gonna be left with are little pieces of fat and bone and I'm gonna go ahead and strain that when this is all done okay so I'm over my pot and it has the whole turkey carcass in there now I did fill the pit no, I did fill the pot half full of water and I'm gonna let that water boil and I'm gonna show you an up close video of all the seasoning and all of the meat just slowly falling off. It takes time, but it is going to make the best soup and broth. So here we have it. This right here is a giant bowl of our broth. Now this was a process. It took about two and a half hours. I boiled it for that long. All the meat, all the good stuff fell right off the bone. It's completely cooled off by now. I'm going to cover it with some saran wrap, put it in the refrigerator overnight, and then tomorrow morning I'm going to go at it and make some amazing soup for my family and it'll just be perfect to warm up on one of those cold winter days. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you join us on the next one. I'll be sure to post the video of the soup that I make with this amazing broth. Thanks again. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little bell button so you get notified of every new video. Thanks again and I hope to see you next time.